Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 2, Episode 1 of Avatar The Last Airbender called The Avatar State. So we saw with um, Aang is having a dream slash a nightmare and we found out that he's actually kind of scared of the Avatar State, which I would be too. And then we cut to where Paku gives Katara special water from the Spirit Lake. And then we cut to where Aang gets water scrolls and Sokka a see you later buddy have a good one <laughs> and um they're going to a um earth kingdom place i think it was like a base or something and then they will escort him to omashu to learn from king Bumi. then ira and zuko are getting pampered af and zuko is sulking because it's been three years since his banishment so he's just very in a bad mood then we have Azula's intro, and she's going to, she's going after Iroh and Zuko, and she is a ruthless person, because, like, she'll, excuse me, so, hang on just a second, let me mark where I was, so basically, she was talking to the captain, and the captain was like, uh, look, I can't dock it, because the tides won't let me, and she's like, so I don't understand I don't understand much about seafaring, so tell me more about the tides. And she made it and turned it. She's like the tides have make up their mind, whereas me has not made up my mind to disregard you permanently. And he's like, Okay, I'll go I'll go I'll bring us in. Okay, okay, bye. And she is just a ruthless person. Oh my god. And then we cut to where Aang's at the base with general Fong, I want to say, and he wants uh, Aang to face the Fire Lord now. So, disregarding everything, it's like, uh, you can do it now, because you can just go to the after stage and just do it. And he is very impatient, and they say no, so he's like, may I show you something? And say, of course he shows the injured people, and it's like, those are the lucky ones, they came back, which is, well, yeah. And then... <clears throat> Aang thought about it and goes back to him later and says he'll go ahead and go and try to get into the Avatar State. Then we cut to where Azula can produce some lightning. And this is how much of a control freak she is. She got one, one hair out of place. And um, her uh, mentors is like, um, it was perfect, just the hair to place it, and so she did that routine again until she got it perfect. And Iro actually felt that, which I thought was kind of cool and weird. Then we got to where Katara is against um, and going to the Avatar State, and so, but they still tried different ways. One was like a caffeinated tea, which had him amped up so wound tight that he literally got on an air scooter and went headfirst into a wall. Then, uh, that was a big nope. Then we cut to Azula, this is Iro and Zuko, and she says that, um, Zuko's dad wants him home. And that was a whole weird conversation, because obviously she's lying about that. But she may have seemed sympathetic towards Zuko, and Zuko bought it, actually. But Iro was like, no, no, no. But he, he still played it really cool around her. And the fact that Zuko didn't catch on to it. It's it baffling because she cut Ira off like that, like several times. Then we cut to where, um, uh, so she's like, I, I can see you need to process this, so I'll leave. Then we get to where Katara is worried and she can't watch the next day about trying to get into the Avatar, start Avatar state. Then we cut to where Ira has major doubts and that's the truth <laughs> and so Zuko is very rude to him and so you're just a bitter old man and um then we cut to where <laughs> Aang had another nightmare and he woke up and changed his mind then we cut to where Iroh and Zuko are heading to the ship so Iroh had to change a heart and wants to go with Zuko back home then Aang tells the general that he doesn't want to go into the Avatar, Avatar state right now and so the general literally attacks him and a really awesome, well, we had a really good action scene. And then we got to where Iron Zuko is um, on the ship, but the captain messed up. He's like, raise anchors. Let's put the prisoners in their cell. 
they were praying and said, I'm so sorry. And she got so mad and said there was a really cool fight scene there. Then we cut to where Katara checks on Aang because she hears a lot of banging and rumbling. So she wanted to go check it out. So the general attacks Katara and he got the Avatar stay, but he quickly realized his mistake for a second. And then he tried to like control it. Because basically he made Katara disappear into the sand. And so that's what triggered it. And he's like, You're f Avatar Aang. You know, it's like, I have her right here, she's fine, it's fine. But no, no, he, mm, it was not pretty. And so he literally tore that base up. Then we cut to our Iris say Zuko from Azula's Lightning and redirects re it at a wall of rock. Anyway, <laughs> a cliff side, that's what I meant to say, wow. And then we cut to where Aang's in our. Um, Avatar State and so Roku talks, to, Roku talks to Aang and tells him that the Avatar State is the defense mechanism that is your most powerful and most vulnerable. Like if you are gone permanently in the Avatar State, it cuts off the cycle and you're done. And uh, then, we, then he snaps out of it and the base is a wreck and General Fong was like, well, we just need to get you to control it. It's fine. And so Sokka literally knocked him out. It's like, okay, does anyone have a problem with that? And they're like, nope. Mm-mm. I'm, I'm good. And so, uh, <laughs> so they leave because they're like, do you still want an uh, escort to Amashi? And they're like, no. <laughs> then we cut to where, um, Azula issues warrants for, or warrant posters for Zuko and Iroh. And so we cut to where Zuko and Iroh cut their buns, and now they're on the run. And I didn't mean that for that to rhyme, but it, that's, okay, cool. So anyway, that was the end of the episode. Really good episode. I gave it A+. Plus. I feel like a lot happened in this episode in 24 minutes, and they really jam-packed it in. Which I don't mind, but it was a really good episode. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So we get to introduction fully of Azula. We saw her, like, in a flashback. We didn't he hear her talk anything, and... Didn't know how vicious and OCD and uh, how much a perfectionist she is. Because, whoa, that's crazy. And, and also, she shoots blue fire, which is like the hottest fire, which is, uh, I was like, okay, wow. But anyway, really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I'm just kind of rambling on this, at this point. It was a really good episode. The action scenes, the story was really, really good. But you have basically General Fong's like, I, um, Jow a little bit and because he was very obsessed with power and stuff like that so anyway it was, an, it was a good episode that's all I gotta say that's one for this video so if you like this video please go to like comment down below tell me what you think do you agree disagree tell me your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe if I can talk English correctly that'd be awesome it's like almost one o'clock in the morning so I'm going to sleep <laughs> Have a great day, evening, night, whenever you watch this. Bye!